Thanks, uh, President Chen, and dear uh, President Klafter. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's my great honor to be here today to share with you some of my thoughts on education, especially Tsinghua's education and innovations. I'm thrilled by the establishment of Xin Center and can't help thinking about the enormous impact it will inflict. Xin Center is not just a global hub for innovative education and research in the mission-wise. But in my point of view, Xin Center is also becoming or potentially becoming a driving force of Tsinghua education reform. If we aim to innovate Tsinghua's education for innovations. So, uh, at this session, I want to share with you, you know, uh, my topic is Innovate Tsinghua's Education for Innovations, from A Education to X Education. Back to education in general, one interesting coincidence I always <laughs> tell on my class. Until about 50 years ago, the Chinese characters on the books are still arranged vertically vertically. Meaning that when you read, you are always nodding slowly or quickly, depends on your reading speed. <laughs> like this, like this, like this. I guess the author must want you to agree with everything he says, and often he succeeds. This happens to, the, uh, to be a reflection of uh, Chinese education for so many years. Students are told to raise no questions, just accept everything on the paper. When sometimes a teacher finish his session, he politely asks any questions. Actually, he or she doesn't really want to uh, be asked for questions. Uh, if that happened, which means a failure or kind of failure uh, of his teaching. That's very different from the Israeli culture. Gladly, we have a adapted the new uh, printing arrangement. So today, when we read or learn something, we no longer accept them by default, which is good, because questions are the very essence of education and the beginning of every innovation. I couldn't stress more about the importance of education to the outcome of innovation. The way we cultivate our students, the knowledge we convey, the ideas we inspire, they will affect the outcome of innovation. But have we considered thinking backwards? How could we innovate our education, Tsinghua's education, for more and greater or even grand innovations to come? For a long time, Chinese education, especially in top universities like Tsinghua, could be described as A education. Schools always pick the A students who have the highest scores. From kindergartens all the way to universities, students are always taking tests that have standard answers and then ranked by their scores, waiting to be picked. Tests after tests, A after A, when they finally compete their ways into universities like Tsinghua, we find out their professors prefer students with A scores to help with their research. Class representatives and group leaders are chosen from students with A scores. This is a reality of a Chinese education, an A model, I call it A model, that only measures students by tests with standard answers, a model that always favors the highest scores a model that encourages uniformity. 
and discourages diversity and the possibility to be different and bold. Realizing that Tsinghua University under the leadership of President Chen Jinning is now thinking of solutions through our one year academic review process. Efforts are made to shift from this A model to a new model of education. Perhaps we could call it X model, inspired from the X in Xin Center. Alphabetically, X is far from being the first place. That's bad or that's good? In X model, highest scores don't necessarily make you the best learners, creators, or ideal candidates for anything. We appreciate intrinsic learning motivation more than short-term testing grade. But this might raise a very serious challenge. Yesterday and today, Professor Klafter told us, mentioned several times, Tsinghua University has the best students among China. But really? Do we have the best students in the innovation sense? If we have the freedom, we always complain. We don't have the freedom to choose, select the right students. But if we have the freedom, do we know how to select the right students for innovation? President Chen mentioned uh, we should consider K, knowledge as skills and attributes for our evaluate, evaluation of our students. But what attributes should we consider or uh, we match for the innovation, for the future innovators? Do we know that? Or should we uh, seriously think, it, think about it now? Secondly, X standards stands for unknown. We encourage our students to step into fields of unknown, to explore and to experiment, instead of fill them up with pages and pages of existing answers. We prefer students who leapfrog for dissertations with more complex topics more their own exploration to students who play it safe. That's, what, that's why Professor Zheng Quanshui uh, have the original idea of the Xin Center. He tries to allow the PhD students to choose a topic their PhD advisors is, isn't that familiar. Third, thirdly, X means crossover. In Chinese, it means hui tong. There is a traditional saying among old generations of Tsinghua years that students in their studies must achieve three crossovers, of the, including crossover of arts and science, of the Eastern and the Western, of the ancient and the contemporary. In X model, we expect our students today to achieve various crossovers of such too. Apart from cross-disciplinary study, we also encourage our students to immerse in cross-cultural communities. When we say cross-cultural communities, you may guess we try to make the arrangement that the students live with or live among the foreign <coughs> students. That's too hard. That's too far. Let's do a simple way. Where students of the same discipline or same department don't collectively live in one residential hall. That's the status of now at Tsinghua. But rather mix with students from other disciplines or other departments and years. Innovation happens, always happens between different cultures and the crossovers. So let's do from the residential arrangement. Fourth, 
X also means connective and interactive. In addition to a diversified living community, X model expects a class community to be full of crossfire. Between individual students, between groups and teams, as well as between professors and students. Students are no longer the passive receiver of everything said by professors. We call the saint on the stage. But an active and integral part of the learning process, as well as the contributor of the knowledge acquired. So the force means connective and interactive. Last but not least, X represent <coughs> crossing off, delete, or disruption. <coughs> to innovate, we must sometimes be ready to cross off and destroy the entire existing system. X model inherits the spirit of disruptive innovation and encourages the students to value authority of idea instead of the idea of authority. In other words, the students shouldn't be afraid of challenging the current authority. When it comes to ideas, professors, students, we are all as innocent and equal as newborn babies. <laughs> as you can see, X has raised so many new questions for future China, Chinese higher education. How to identify and admit ideal or right students. How to enhance their att attribute of confidence, independence, ethics, and curiosity. How to best facilitate their potential to become the next, next innovators. At Tsinghua, in recent two years, we have tried some of these changes, like X-Lab for students' creativity through ideas, innovations, and implementations. And Xue Tang X for online education. A and MBA Plus X for integrating the MBA program and other master programs, and so on and so forth. Now we have Xin with X, and we are going to have more X X. Xin Center is another example of Tsinghua's commitment in educational reform. It emphasizes on inter-community collab collaboration and integrates university, investment, corporate, and government together through the same interest on global challenges projects. It prefers getting ideas to market rather than just publications. It focuses on peoples and ideas rather than disciplines or departments. I hope that Xin Center, with its unique nature, will achieve unprecedented success. And at the same time, I truly believe this X model of education will gradually replace the A model that the Chinese educators are very familiar with and turn out to be very effective in bringing more and greater innovations for China and beyond. Learning is not a trip with destination, but a journey full of innovation and co-creation. We call it College <coughs> 2.0, if we like the students, uh, a lot of students to co-create with their uh, professors and uh, uh, teachers. Every reform or innovation requires patience and perseverance. Above uh, are a few uh, very small, uh, humble thoughts of mine on education and innovation, on Tsinghua's reflection and actions. So to echo my speech topic, to innovate Tsinghua's education <coughs> for innovations, from A education to X education. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Why unique coin this time? Key center. Uh, it's including PhD students who are within the research uh, ground uh, challenging for that. And the PhD students, the quality of PhD that <coughs> reflection, the best reflection of the university academic level. That's a very key of the key center. So how we let the key center, like uh, Professor Zheng always mentioned, uh, the PhD students can decide their own research topic. Can we uh, try something like student oriented or student centered? That's a since uh, very special feature, uh, not very different from the X lab or other things. Okay, this. No. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This, is, this, is, uh, this is not uh, related to the question of looking. So, uh, s have you any suggestion uh, to link those efforts? Now we are the PhD and uh, also how to integrate those efforts. Because uh, as I understood, so the Jewish culture, that's uh, starting from just the, ba the best of the kids. Right. So the innovation is not, uh, that's changing a lot of things. So have you any suggestion how to integrate? Well, all the X uh, activities at Tsinghua now, uh, all of them have the very same or very similar motivations. Uh, try to research and know it, and also to do it cross-disciplinary uh, or departmental uh, silos. That's uh, two things they, they are very uh, common. So. Maybe we should organize some X committee <laughs> and to let to to maybe uh, let all the X activities to have some synergy together. Yeah. Uh, last question. Last question. <laughs> so it's, it's a common no, question. Sure. You you talk about the PhD stuff. Yeah. And this morning we talk about a lot of things, mm -hmm. you know, commercialization. Yes. But we know that. It's going to be a difficult balance. It's true. PhD, we need to put a science based sure. uh, content. Most likely, because the science based is not easy for, or not ready for commercialization. Right. So, just you know, maybe one of the things that I would balance those two and do the In China, there is another, or lots of degree, we call that. PhD, <coughs> we call it uh, Doctor of Engineering. That's actually, I, I always think about it. It's uh, maybe a sp special advantage of Tsinghua University to use a Doctor of Engineering to do something more related with the industry. Look, please. Then, then I just added another comment. Right. Then I <laughs> sure. Tsinghua's research with open power depending Right. You know, you really change the thing. You know, talking about Tsinghua research has been very popular. In other words, in which to start. World standard. Cutting edge yeah. research. Mm -hmm. That's what we encourage. Mm -hmm. But meantime, we don't stand on the ground. So that stand on the ground means uh, to to uh, answer the uh, urgent demand of the nation. Yeah. So, so means we have a lot of change. I, 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 all, I, when, when I studied the Chinese and Israeli or Jewish culture. I see the golden mean or the in the middle way or balance, something like that. So if we want to accomplish both, we have to do or to find out some, you know, golden mean, yeah, between that. Thanks, thanks. Thank you very much for the questions and good afternoon. Thank you.